for today, we're just going to share a couple quick tips and resources um, for online teaching and learning about project-based learning. Um, so in iEARN, we have um, more than 100 projects that connect um, teachers and students around the world. Um, so on the next slide, um, we're going to just take a quick look um, about some, where to go for some really solid project-based learning resources. Um, IRON um, draws very much on our friends from PBL Works. They have this gold standard for project-based learning and you can look at the different design, um, essential design elements that, um, uh, for how to construct a meaningful and engaging project for your students. Um, we want, in IRON, we want our students to be looking at real world issues and challenges and do something that's meaningful for them in their community. Uh, and this framework is something that we draw on to help um, structure our projects for, for students. Um, today we're going to look very quickly at um, public products. Um, so the end result, what can you create with your students um, in a project? And before we jump there, actually, I want to ask um, if you noticed anything from uh, phase mini lessons, um, what creative ways did you see students sharing their work? Um, so I think Faye showed a couple examples. What uh, creative ways did you see students sharing their poetry and their work? Um, and if you don't mind um, putting them in the chat box, um, we'll read them out as we see. Um, I saw a couple ways that students were um, sharing their poetry. They were taking the, 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 all of their learning, learning about writing and poetry and how to express sensory images and then and then some of them built up, as I see here, into a video um, and using images and really thinking about how they were curating their mes message. Um, this is a really strong example of, um, of project uh, products um, that you can also then share with others outside of just the classroom, which is another key element of project-based learning. Here's a couple other ideas, too, of ways that you can um, um, get your youth connected and engaging in, in some meaningful work and sharing their projects. Um, so a few from the slide here, uh, there is a really wonderful project called um, our storybook project. And essentially that is uh, students um, in classes, in different classes, um, write a component of the story and pass it on um, to the next student to add to. And so what you're seeing here is some images of their books. Um, so if you are doing any sort of writing projects, um, with your students, you can have them add to each other's work. If you're at home, um, perhaps with kids, you might per, uh, consider connecting with cousins or friends and having students add to each other's writing and create one big story. Or to pull their work together in, in um, a collection um, that they can publish and share um, with their families. So um, a way to think about some creative writing and pulling that together. Um, for arts and media projects, um, you can have your students engage in doing photo essays. Um, so I like the where I'm from poem. We were seeing some images with the text. Um, students are used to documenting so much in, in images, um, and now is really the time to leverage that. Um, having students pull images um, with their work and, and using that to curate and share. In IRON, we like to do um, also video projects with students, and, and last week with the digital story telling mini lesson we got a, a taste into video production um, so that is another consideration as well if your students are making videos you could bring them together in zoom um, or uh, post them somewhere online for to do a virtual uh, film festival to view and share each other's work so um, we saw some great ideas from Faye those students um, video recording their poems and then sharing them that way they could do um, sort of like a film festival or a poetry slam if you will um, for sharing their creative work. 